The April 20th blowout of the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, which resulted in the worst oil spill in the nation's history, has cast a national spotlight on the practice of drilling offshore in waters more than a thousand feet deep. As the American public weighs its benefits and costs, the incident has the potential to change or slow the push to find even more oil in deeper and deeper waters. It's an issue with important implications for the local area, which has strong roots in the early days of deep water development. One such example is J. Ray McDermott, an international company with a strong presence in Morgan City. Cajuns of South Louisiana were definitely the pioneers of this industry, but technology changes in the industry allowed us to go into deeper and deeper water. And the reason for that is, obviously, the deeper you've gone out into the Gulf of Mexico or other regions around the world, the reservoirs of the oil foundations and findings have been tremendous. The first ever platform in waters deeper than a thousand feet was built right there by workers from Terrebonne, Lafouche, Assumption, and other surrounding parishes. Its name was Cognac, and it was installed in 1978 for Shell Oil. Later, that yard helped build the influential Auger platform, which was also installed for Shell. And that became really the entry in the 1990s, um, the birthplace of these big floaters. Uh, which now are the pro prominent force for getting deep water drilling done. 